Hello, hello. Back in Psychic Detective. Back to Psychic Detective. However, I should put it and uh, stream seems to be up. Okay, so last night um, Tamayoshi came to the bedroom and uh, wanted to do some stuff, but uh, Furuyagi-san refused because he has Rieka-san, so he wasn't interested. And now... Um, I wonder what event um, should trigger next. Good morning. Yes, I can talk to him. <clears throat> so he is uh, saying something about um, Tamayo. What's spells kanji? Uh, okay, so yeah, Lady Tamai wants to meet him and at noon should go to her room. Okay, I guess we should. Gotta, uh, gonna set an alarm, guess 11. Okay, he's going away. Um, let's go downstairs and uh, just, I don't know, look around. Until then, um, guess I cannot talk to her yet. She's gonna say same, same thing about tea. Uh, it's early. Um, just go into the tea room, but it's, I think the comment is a bit different than usual. Um, ah, okay, she's inviting us to the tea room. Okay. Uh, so I was gonna tell you and... Uh, Today she is in a bad mood, so so meet her tomorrow. And uh, and <clears throat> I guess uh, Furuyagi is inviting her to his room at night <laughs> if she has some business. No, no, please don't invite her to your room. Uh, these two ask about uh, Godai's son. So, do you know anything about him? Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm asking about Ishimoto, the fat woman. Um, yeah, it's the same stuff. She's fell down by the gate and then then uh, he, she was saved by Matsuyama-san. I don't know, I don't think there's gonna be anything relevant. So yeah, asking about Asami and uh, she is unconscious. Uh, I had um, Furuyagi is mentioning that there are allegations. It wasn't an accident. That's like, ooh, who's saying that stuff? 
Okay, okay. Uh, so there's no point in asking about Godai anymore. Yeah, the, this guy shouldn't have any more information about him. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't want to talk to them anymore. Let's just go somewhere else. Um, Time is it now? Still have plenty of time before I'm going to see Tamayo. Then uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. I I'll, I'm just gonna walk around and maybe I'll run into something new, but. It's probably just next significant event. Oh, this guy. Maybe I've seen him here before. But not sure. So even if you think about it, there's no specifics i don't know i was thinking about him okay let's talk to him about the car well it might oh yeah yeah now there's two cars actually the car on the right is his and uh, there used to be a driver but he's driving him himself now okay Okay, it's, it's cool because the guy did mention something about two cars. So he's going to work uh, quite early, and well, he's the director of Shiratori Heavy Industries. <sighs> he feels like a demon or. Ah, okay, workaholic. So but it's like a work demon. But dictionary says it means workaholic, so I'm gonna trust it on this one. Um. Nope. What time is it? Yeah, I. S I didn't, you know, screw up or something that uh, I cannot meet because I, I meant to go here, but actually went to the clinic. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, let's go back inside. I think it's gonna be eleven. So, yep. <laughs> this guy and he is probably going to the toilet again asking about the accident but he doesn't know I'll go to the courtyard oh this guy yeah he ain't saying much <laughs> I'm not sure what it said, but I looked at the guy and um, see, but um. I guess I have to go see Tamayo soon, but it's 
probably a bit early. Yeah, it's closed, but I guess I can mess around here. Gonna save <laughs> I don't know, just walk around killing time or maybe it's just better to bash my head against the, the door until she appears. I guess that's the most effective. I'm gonna set the alarm, although I, I saved, so, ah, okay, there's no point in setting the alarm, because it's almost 12. Okay, now she's in. So this is her room. What's this? Always... Is it bubble? I don't know that kanji. She's still a sexy woman, okay. Talk to her. Mm -hmm. Last night was a surprise and from tonight onwards I'll make sure I don't forget my keys. Don't be so mean, I was worried about you, I'm sorry. I guess the first comment was from the guy and the second comment was comment for us for, from her so uh, in exchange i'll tell you something interesting she says i assume so what do you mean interesting last night when uh, she was coming back from your uh, from his room uh, she stopped um, she thought his girlfriend was cute. Yes. But um, if you can take me safely to town, I'll let you know. Um, because she has something to do in, in town. Um, you'll give me a ride. Uh, and so he took her to town, finally. This is what I've been trying to do for the past week. So, I know she... I'm, I'm not sure which one was the one who did the driving. I think it's the, it's the guy because he has a car, but um, anyways, you know the way now, uh, you can come here by yourself. So, okay, we unlocked a new location. Um, I couldn't believe it. Uh, so... After, before I knew it, I had arrived, I don't know. Not quite sure what, what he meant. So, listen to her, thanks. I am, uh, I am a person. <laughs> uh, she's meeting somebody, so please excuse her and, uh, okay, see you, bye bye. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, you told me you would uh, tell me an interesting story. Oh yes, that's true. Um, if you come to my room tonight, uh, I'll be back at some point, so please wait. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Um, from 
Oh, and it's time. This is the time when Ishimoto Kyo is shopping at the market. Uh, maybe she will sell us something interesting. Okay. So she went to a restaurant. Uh, it's very, uh, I don't know, naughty woman or something. Yeah, rude woman. Okay, um, market. Mm -hmm. This is market and this is Ishimoto. Talk to her. Okay, how about Asami? Uh, she already told everything she knows. Allegedly, how about Kiku? Mm. So this, uh, okay. The, the, she, she's gonna tell him just to him, uh, the old woman is a bitch and uh, she doesn't live up to the rumors or something. Maya. Uh, she feels sorry for Maya and um, she gets annoyed by the old woman every day. And uh, to make matters worse, the uh, old woman is cold too. It's cold hearted or something. Uh, work bug, uh, Shizuo, workaholic. I don't know. Well, I guess, you know, he's like an insect who only knows work. Maybe that's how it, what she means. I'm not sure if it's some expression in Japanese to say, you know, somebody is like, like a work bug, like a workaholic. So uh, Hidechan is always at the bookstore studying art. He's actively researching manga books. Mm, oh yeah, he was an otaku. He wants to become an artist. Uh, he aspires to become one. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the same comment. Godai. I uh, just saw him, um, she was meeting somebody at the restaurant and, and who were you meeting, please tell me. Uh, I can't say, uh, because she'd be causing trouble at the Shiratori house if she did that. Gantamayo. Uh, Now that you mention it, um, uh, she saw Tamayo just now. So she, uh, she's like, uh, she's uh, on a date with somebody. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Uh, I, I, I asked about Maya. How about Asami? No, she won't tell anything more. Nope. Uh, I guess I can think about her. Uh, when, when there's something to eat, she's always there. Good eye. So maybe Ishimoto knows something about Godai and then Tamayo. Uh, is it true that she was meeting Godai? 
guess try to ask her more about him, about Godai. So you're a persistent person, no matter who Godai son meets, it's none of your business. So is it Tamaya who met with Godai? Uh, he went to the restaurant feeling suspicious. Okay, and there he is. Uh, it's the fish, the fifth generation Yosh, Yoshinaga. No, it's, it's not fifth, it's Godai, it's his name, but it's also his fifth generation. <laughs> so Yoshinaga Godai, um, according to Kyo Ishimoto's story, it seems like he's somebody, he has some connection to Shiratori. So who is that guy actually? It's like invincible, fearless smile on his face. Um, it's nice to see you again. Do you want to eat? No, Mr. Godai. I heard you were at this restaurant. I expect you to die. Uh, so, do you know my? Did you know my name, Mr. Furo Yagi? Why do you know my name? Uh, it's because both. Uh, you also were called to help with Asami's treatment. So if you need anything, please, um, you're a great guy too, as expected, you're a head of Mitomo's president's office or something. Or maybe he is the president. At least, well, some important position in, in Mitomo Zaibatsu. So it seems like you were meeting somebody from Shiratori here. Uh, that's ridiculous. I haven't met anybody from the Shiratori family. Uh, it's okay be to be silly. It's easy to imagine that you're cuddling uh, people, I guess, to, co trying to convince people in inside Shiratori and uh, trying to get an advantage in the merger. You have an uh, incredible in imagination. Um, I... So uh, he hates people like the Shiratori's grandma, but he hates people like us even more. Uh, the old woman has strength to live on, on her own, and in return, all you can do is uh, flatter those in power or something. I'm sure that um, that will restore Asami's consciousness and marry her into Yasui family and destroy your ambitions. That is um, fun, isn't it? We're looking forward to it. Uh, let's take a closer look how, uh, how far a single person like you can go. Please, uh, please do it. I, I'm still confused uh, which lines are which persons at times. After saying that to Godai, he left the restaurant and for some reason he felt an uncontrollable anger towards Godai. 
Uh -huh. This Murakawa is in the bookstore. So he went to the bookstore. Aha, uh -huh, this is the guy. I'm gonna save because already so much has has been revealed. Enough. Gonna load the save. Ah uh, no. Okay, I missed that line because I saved, but whatever. This is uh, Murakawa Hidezo. Zo. Now it says Shuzo. I, I think before he was Hidezo, so I think that that name is better anyways. And now my mouse was acting like an asshole. Excuse me. Yeah, now, now he's saying he's Hideso Murakawa. And, and now Shizo, why my dictionary keeps changing its mind. It's, must be a female, la donna e mobile. So anyways, so he's introducing him. I'm, I'm Furuyagi. And um, he's being called because of Asami-san and how did you know I was Murakawa? That's strange. You'll know it when you see it. I guess because he looks like an otaku. Uh, ot yeah, otaku detective or otaku and detective, I'm not sure which. Uh, like, you know, is he an, a detective who is an otaku or he is a detective that detects otaku? That That's, I'm not quite sure which he means. Anyways, I would like to ask you about Shiratori family. I can't help it. Well, I'll answer what I can. So just like rumored. This. Come on, my fucking stupid like this this disappears. It's just according to the rumors. I fucking hate my stupid fucking Google translator crap. Because sometimes it takes like an hour for it to um figure out what she's saying. So Asami-chan, uh, she's a cute girl, uh, just his type. Uh, she's quiet, kind, and honest girl. Uh, different from from the other person. So it's nothing. Uh, Uh, is his ex-girlfriend or something? I guess the other girl he referred to. Mm, okay, ask about Kiku. So it's a, the old woman is a horrible person. Tamayo. She is... Um, Beautiful person, but she doesn't talk to him. Matsuyama, the old, the yeah, old man or old uncle. I don't know what he's thinking. Yeah, because he never says anything. Ishimoto Kiyo, uh, she is a good person. Uh, and she understands his art. Godai. So Godai, uh, do you know or do you know anybody called Godai? I know he's from the Mitomo Zaibatsu trying to take over Shiratori. Well, that's you know, um, you know a straight comment. He's clearly not member of the Shiratori family because he's, you know, admitting, like, this is my favorite character so far. <laughs> At least he seems like, you know, honest, straightforward person and helpful. Uh, 
Uh, okay, it's the same comment. I just uh, tried to ask uh, if he would tell me more about Godai, but nope. Okay, then the Shiratori family. So currently there are a few cracks in the backbone of Shiratori. Um, Didn't you? Mm -hmm. So I guess the, but this is not a, oh no, it is. So yeah, they didn't know he was an otaku. So uh, Mitomo approached him about financing or something. So I guess they tried to buy his loyalty or something. Uh, it's uh, osten ostensibly a loan, but uh, in reality they're aiming for a merger and acquisition of Shiratori, I guess. Yeah, it's the same stuff. And then underwear. Only in your underwear. Uh, underwear is your trump card against this guy. Uh, I mean, he's like Furuyagi is saying this in his mind. It's too early to ask about it now. I has, have to ask some other stuff first. Okay, let's think. Uh, he, like he's a person I can't understand. Um, I don't want to look into his mind. Well, he seems like a decent guy, unlike everybody else. Uh, okay, so his appearance lives up to the rumors. Finally, I got the comments. Okay, let's ask. So, Asami. I'm a little busy. If you want to ask about Asami-chan, you can ask her friend Yukari, Kamiya Yukari. Yes, a new person. If you drive straight along this road, you'll soon see the mansion. Um, so it's about one hour's drive. Okay, I'll uh, so then... It's gonna go and left the bookstore. Okay. So, Kami, Kami ya Yukari. Is she a classmate of Asami? And he decided to go meet her. Well, this is very um, railroady, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Because better. To be on a train that goes somewhere than, you know, in a fucking blender that you just, you know, keep spinning around and getting your bits chopped up or something. So, yeah, it's Kamiya Mansion or Manor or whatever. It's a pretty nice building or mansion. Um, let's go inside. So, I went to visit Yukari, but she wasn't there. According to a family member, Yukari is going to Shiratori family to visit Asami. Let's go back to Shiratori family, the manor, and maybe we can meet her there. Nice. And we are back. Okay, let's go inside. What time is it anyways? Almost six. Um, let's see if we can get to um, Asami's room. If, uh, if Yukari is there, nope. Back room, nope. OK, 
Okay. I guess she's not there. Maybe she was killed or abducted on the way. Um, how about this spare room? Nobody here. Okay. How about this? I uh, know well, I went to the wrong side. Um, east. Murakawa, he's not here. <laughs> Let's go to our room just to have a look. Yeah, nobody's here. Yeah. Oops, accidentally went to sleep. Oh well. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but I was just there clicking and but so, so now it's seven. Well, I guess I should save. I should have saved earlier, so. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit dusty here. Goddamn summer's coming. I wish it was winter all the time. <clears throat> This heat and dust and everything, inhuman. But yeah, <clears throat> I don't wanna um, <clears throat> take the save from all the way from the city because I think a lot of stuff happened. So I guess I can just um, <clears throat> try to um, have all these meetings now this day and yeah, instead of last the previous day let's check the balcony no new people okay <clears throat> Can I talk to her now? Huh? So I like, don't talk to her in the morning. Baka. And then she left. She really doesn't like to be talked to in the morning. I don't know, it's like she's possessed or something. Mm -hmm. And don't pull it, Koska. Mm. What um, events are there still to be had? Check in the guide. Mm. <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I'll see if I can go to the um, uh, what's this the clinic?
Nope. And can I? Why is there no option? Oh. So it's these two. Ask about the car. So after all, a car is power and speed. <laughs> So this yayoi, I don't have time for idle talk. Morning. The Sanka, huh? This mother. Ah, uh, we got. They got to the jump to the car and drove drove away. Okay. Um, Why cannot uh, can't I go to the market, or is it like I already exhausted every option there, so there's no point in going back because I had several meetings there. Is there some new stuff? No, I think she, she's saying all the same stuff she usually does. What time? It's 10. I guess I can try to catch the butler and see if he has something new to say. Not here. No. <laughs> Actually, wait, it was almost eleven. Well, he should be coming to this floor soon. Oh, this guy. Okay, he's going to the toilet, I guess. But it's annoying. I cannot go to the these stairs from like from the hallways. I have to go first to the hall and then. Anyways. No, he's busy doing whatever crap he's doing. I don't want to go back to my room so I don't accidentally go to the bed. I think it's actually fucking retarded that you click on the bed. So if like you accidentally click on the bed at eight o'clock in the morning, then you go to sleep and sleep the whole day. You cannot wake up. You know, there's sh things like that should be, you know, yes or no. Do you really want to go to sleep already? Especially if it's during the day. That's, that's just fucking aggravating game design. Let's see, um, Yukari. Aha. Okay, I think uh, Yukari, the friend, should be 
here around six o'clock like in the living room Maybe I still go up. See if if Tamayo is going to be here still um, around this time. What time is it? I guess I can set the alarm at 12 even though it's only a few minutes left until that. Yeah, she's here. Okay, at least... No, 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 I, there's move, so I, I was thinking. So are you going out? Yeah. That is the same conversation we have had like a million times. But okay, I, I guess I have to go see her in her room at midnight or whenever. But um, I'll go. I guess I'll just go to the um, living room to wait. For Yukari to appear, something about go to eat, blah blah blah. Let's put the alarm this time at five, and then just kill time. That's what I do best. You know, back in the days, uh, the old days, they, I don't think they did a lot of uh, play testing to see whether, you know, this mechanic would just piss off people. It's more like, okay, it it's works, it's functional. Like, I think that's one uh, improvement in the games industry nowadays that they tend to test that the game is, uh, you know, it makes sense, but nowadays they don't play test whether it's a buggy mess or not, especially if it's triple A or something. It's like I think uh, Portal. It was an example of you know well a play tested game that you know the the mechanics is not too difficult, not too easy that you know a, lot of, a wide audience would like it, and they did. But yeah, I still haven't played uh, Portal 2. And I guess I should replay the first one. It's been almost 20 years since I played it. because I think it came out 2006 or was it 2008? Okay, gonna save. <sighs> I'm not exactly sure if if Yukari is just gonna appear here or uh, or if I have to do something else. Yeah, she's not here right now. Okay, let's go here. Aha, I found her. So yeah, I had to go out. I was thinking it might be something like that. So is that girl I've never seen before? Who is she? She's cute. Look at girl, 
this cute girl, young girl. Hey, girly, you wanna take a ride in my car? <laughs> and then Furuyagi got arrested. The end. So I'm Kamiya Yukari, Asami's classmate. Okay, ask about her. I am Furuyagi and uh, I'm a distant relative of Shiratori. I, I'm not sure if he's telling the truth or just, you know, trying to, uh, you know, bullshitting her for, for, you know, I don't know, to win her confidence or something. Anyways, um, today, uh, yeah. Today, he happened to come and, uh, ah, okay, and uh, Asami had gotten into this condition, I guess he's just lying to her, not wanting to admit what his profession is and what, why he's here, okay. So, ah, I see, I came to see Asami. So uh, Asami's friend, uh, Asami's friend, our best friend, why would, ah, Shizuka-chan commit suicide? I can't believe it. There must be some secret. Ah, uh, yeah, now it's Shizuka. I remember in the very beginning of the game, somebody called her Shizuka, like Asami. So, so is it like two different girls? And one of them is dead or uh, something or or does she have a double identity? I'm not sure. Asking about. Okay, Shizuka. Shiratori Shizuka. Uh, speaking of Shizuka, don't you know Shizuka? I'm... Huh? Uh, so is Asami's older sister is Shizuka. Oh no, younger sister. Okay, anyways, Asami's sister. So, oh, this, that's right. Uh, lately he's been fixated on a idol named Shizuka who doesn't look too old. That's why my head is all mixed up. He's coming up with really lame lies. It's, it's really like, you know, he's coming on to her. But hey, I don't judge. The police might and the judge, but whatever. I, saw, I made a lame excuse. I've never heard that Asami had a young sister. Yeah, but he, he's not admitting it to her, just to the, the viewer, the player. So, are you close to Shizuka-chan? No, um, she, she was so selfish, it was uh, difficult to get along with her. Uh, but uh, it's time is already, uh, it's already time, she has to go. Yeah, it's better for her so she doesn't get Mm -hmm. Struggle snuggled. So Asami had a young sister. I have to look into Shizuka Shiratori. Nice. So he left the room. Yes, you have to say, and now I'm in, I am in the hall. Like you haven't been in this room like 275 times. Um, okay. 
I guess now just have to talk to anybody we see about Shizuka. Nope. Nope, nope. Just check in. Nope, nope. Just okay. I was checking that my microphone was on because I got paranoid because I muted it for a minute earlier when I was coughing and you know I was like, oh, is it actually still muted? I guess it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Why so eerie? There's nobody here. It's turning into a horror game. Ah, well, yeah. Well, there's the monster. Oh no, run away! Uh, listen. Are you here? Well, okay. So, can I talk to her? About Asami. Um, there's something suspicious about it. I'm uh, busy researching things. Don't bother me. I fucking want to bash her head in with the record player or something. So, she, I guess, kicked. No, ah, he was forced to help her with the research. I, I guess that's better than being kicked out. But I, I don't know. Still, this this woman deserves to get mangled up. So from when she he was released from listening, it was well past midnight. What? So I guess maybe she was doing research on music or something. So, she, he went back to the guest room, uh, dragging his exhausted body and fell asleep like a dead person. Okay. Let's go out and save. Just, I, I guess we definitely should try to find uh, the mom, Maya, and ask her about Shizuka. So it's like um, a bit before three o'clock, she should be in the, in Kiku's room. So I guess I can set an alarm. And he probably refuses to speak. Yeah, he's running away at the speed of light. Supersonic man out of you. Do, 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 do. If I talk to her, will she go crazy again? <laughs> yeah, she's going crazy. It's good. You know, <clears throat> we can use oblivion like elder scrolls no not oblivion a morrowind logic because like you know if she attacks me and i kill her i'm innocent because i think in that game or was it oblivion or maybe both uh you could you know insult npcs like if you were good enough in it and you made them angry then they would attack you and since they uh, instigated the battle um, you were you know free to kill them and loot their corpses and all that stuff so I should do the same can I ask about Shizuka
Kafka. Nope. I can't. This guy, hey, he's Shizuka's dad, so... Ah, uh, okay, yeah, he's going early and he is still the textile industry boss or something. Why can't I ask him about Shizuka? Come on, game! This is bullshit! Like, I understand it's an old game and, you know, making all these changes uh, would require a lot of effort and, you know, more space from the disks and all that stuff. But still, come on, man. Like, it's a, it's a big deal. Let's go to the uh, clinic. Nope. Come on, man. Come on, man. Does whatever a common man can. Oh, fuck. It's still four hours. Uh, ten o'clock. I guess now might be a good time to try to talk to Matsuyama. And it's around ten, right? Is he? Uh, where's this location? Super here. This is not not him, but let's see. Uh, creepy artist guy. Ah, Shizuka. I don't know. Um. I can't talk to you carelessly and being scolded by the old lady is already punishment enough, so... Okay, he's afraid to talk. At least, you know, you give me the option of talking about him, so... I can't be angry that he's not helpful. Yeah, this guy... Can I talk to him? Why can't I ask him about Shizuka, you know, say the magic trigger word and then he's triggered and turns into a bear and tries to hump me. Oh no, everything is Baldur's Gate. Okay, um... Guess I'll go to the clinic and back once because it's gonna waste a lot of time. I'll go to the clinic and back. <laughs> okay, um, yum, yum. Is there anything here? Nope. So watch this thing about Asami and Shizuka and 
are they the same person or did they change roles at some point or, or what's going on Well, it's in case Godai comes back here, it's about that time, but I really doubt he will be coming back. Um, Now let's go to the garage, come back. I feel like getting possessed by insanity demons. Uh, where is it anyway? So Skiku's room, I guess I should go. Look for it. It's this way, right? Yep, it's closed. Yeah, yo, e, po, suke, ti, suke. I guess I will just save here. Just in case. Case just in, just in case. Okay, I guess I cannot go to the room then. So now it's only three. Let's go here. Is Mr. Bear Man here? He is. No, no. He ain't talking. I ain't talking. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I guess the ne next week victim could be uh, Kiku's husband. Maybe he will know something about Shizuka and be willing to speak. Let's see if he's here. He is. No, it's the same stuff. He's just a corpse. I'm just a corpse. Uh, pretty and petite. <laughs> um, ba -da -ba -da. So, time almost four. Let's go see the uh, butler. He should be coming here soon. What time? Yep. 
Will you tell me some? Ashizuka, hoo hoo hoo! Finally, somebody can at least discuss the issue. So, speaking of Shizuka-sama, please don't be fooled. Uh, Shizuka-san is Asami-san's younger sister, right? Asami doesn't have any sis uh, siblings. You lie to me. Why you lie to me? I don't know anybody like that here. I'm a busy person. So, he's playing dumb. <sighs> But yeah, the real dumb guy here is me because I'm fucking working for this family. Can I set this building on fire? The house on fire. Do 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 do. Where to next? Um. The, uh, what's her name? Yayoi is going to be in the tea room in one hour or so. So I guess I can just bang my head against the wall until then. Here I stand, head in hand, banging my head against the wall. Everywhere people stare. I apologize for torturing you, but I I'm suffering too, so it's only fair. It's equity, you know. <laughs> if I have to suffer, you have to suffer. Uh, so please save Asami and fuck off. Uh, okay, yeah, she doesn't even want to. I don't know. Can I kill her, please? You know, if I was rich, I would seriously hire somebody to make a game or a mod. With this, you know, this layout of this building and the characters, and then you could kill them in nasty ways. Not even kidding. Okay, yeah, yeah, those people. Then uh, it's almost time. Ah, oh, it's not that almost but sort of almost around seven Amaya uh, will be at the stairs she is the one who should be able to she should talk like oh my god you found out about my other dead daughter I'm devastated Yeah, I, I definitely won't be going to the study because I don't want to be forced into indentured slavery again by Kiku. So this is, I guess I can, there's no look button. Well, I guess I can go to the toilet and just Keep staring it until the alarm rings, right? Did I actually set on the alarm? Yes, I did. Then there's no problem. Monday night, Monday naku. Naked problem. Is, you know, there's this excitement when I, you know, I'm waiting for a certain person to arrive. Because, like, you know, you don't know if they're actually gonna be there. And now that they are here, 
will they actually say anything sensible? Okay, asking about Shizuka. <sighs> so Asami had a sister called Shizuka. I don't know, I don't know. Please go home. I won't make you sad anymore, please. Uh, or I won't go. I please go. I don't know. I won't uh, be any more sad than this. She fled, uh, said it, and fled in despair. Is she gonna kill herself? Let's go to the balcony so, so she doesn't jump. Um, where is her room? Just go bang on her door. Shizuka is your daughter. She's dead. <laughs> yeah, this, this game is turning me into Jack Nicholson from The Shining. It's maddening, maddening. <laughs> Just bang on the door. I know you're in there. Maya san, take me to your dead daughter. I want to say my uh, regards. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can go see. The horrible old woman. It's like, you know, I, just a few weeks ago I played Dreams in the Witch House, you know, the HP Lovecraft game. And there's Keziah Mason, the old witch, evil witch. But, you know, she's nothing compared to Kiku. Like, she wasn't that horrible. But Kiku is. Well, it's not just her, it's most of the family is like that. You know, I, I sympathize with Maya, you know, the mom. I can understand that she is very distraught, but the, most of the family there, like, you know, they deserve to get the wood chipper. Okay. Can I talk to you about Shizuka? The cult of Shizuka. You have to admit Shizuka exists and you can have eternal peace. I sort of like it, uh, you know, as some weird scenario for some horror movie or some fantasy uh, story or some of a weird cult. So Asami is my only granddaughter who who's claimed, you know, claimed there was some Shizuka. It's if that Shizuka person um, exists, uh, bring me evidence. There is no... Br bring me proof that Asami has a younger sister. Here, uh, you, who did you meet? Uh, Yasuya and his son, yes, uh, he, he yelled at me too. So yeah, we already had this discussion before, but yeah, not this one. So, okay, well, where can I get evidence? Can I call, perhaps, um, Rieka, I guess? Can I go see Koske? Sort of uh, trying to see if Yayoi appears here. I think she might. Ah, she's here already. Can I ask her about 
How rude to come in here. Can I set her bedroom on fire and tie her to the wall with manacles or... This game is seriously... Like, um, if you know the game Harvester, it's from the 90s, like a point and click adventure game, a horror game, and well, spoilers, it's actually about, you know, training you to become a serial killer and stuff. But, you know, this, this is the real thing, not that game. And you know, I don't mean to say that I absolutely hate this game or anything because I do. There, there are redeeming qualities, but you know, it's not, it's not fun to play. That that's the problem. All right. Um, I guess I'll call the normal number first. Yeah, because for normal number, then I can try the the car phone. Oh, uh, is it actually? Oh, okay, it seems to be the uh, answering machine. Uh, Morisaki's answering machine, and go fuck yourself. Um, okay, okay, let's try the other number then. The air, something about the area, like uh, is it out of the, uh, yeah, there's no coverage. Okay, so where is she? She is in the woods with, I don't know, Chad and Tyrone playing, I don't know, ping pong. Almost nine o'clock. Uh... Okay, Shizua, the dad, is about to be in the study room. Oh yeah, and I'm supposed to go see Tamayo in her room at some point. Tamayo. Okay, and uh, nobody here. Am I too early? Yes, I think I'm a few minutes early. Why does the butler keep his door always open? Is he some, you know, hentai who just wants to pe people to peek in on him or something? Shizuka, tell me about that bitch, you little bitch of a man. Um, I don't have a daughter with that name. You, you must have made a mistake. Maybe she has he has a son with the name Shizuka. So yeah, maybe I um, because because somebody called Asami Shizuka, so maybe the girl in the in the room unconscious is actually Shizuka. And Asami died, and Shizuka fell from the balcony because she tried to commit suicide. That's probably it. But, you know, the question is why? 
and like you know where where is the real Asami? Has she ever existed? Is she just a figment of the imagination of the game developers? Um, I guess I can go go to the uh, dining room. Uh, om, nom, nom, nom. Shizuka. And so no matter how much um, I like it, I can tell the difference what's good and bad. Uh, sorry, that's all I can say. Uh, so yeah, I guess she she's not allowed to speak about Shizuka. But yeah, this is actually, even though, you know, the first time you, I met her, it was a sanity wrenching experience, but she's also one of, you know, one of the people I don't hate. Maybe I'll do one save here. Um, let's see if we can go see um, Tamayo in her room already. Is it late enough? Because she wanted to see us. But I think she said something about missed midnight or past midnight. So I guess it's still too early. Early, like the Earl. The Earl of Meldibone. Meldibone. The Earl of Boner Hill. I know, just rambling incoherently. Yeah, that's really nothing. So I can just go to the uh, bathroom. Why can't I use the bathroom at all? Uh, okay, study. Oh, this guy is still here. Yeah, like, why don't you try um, to, if, if you have to prove that Shizuka exists, you know, try to find some family documents, birth certificate, photographs, anything. But no, no, I can't do any of that. I'm not an adventure game character. I'm just a stupid uh, walking around and talking kind of game character. <laughs> and the butler is still not like not in his room or not locking his door. I can go to the backyard and I go to the cottage. Nope. So Ah, okay. I guess I can bash my head against this wall for a while. Huh? Oh. Okay. So this is Maya's room and it's those two people. Oh yeah, yeah, because they're husband and wife, duh. Yeah. about Maya it's a uh, rude to be up uh, to come here this late and uh, wife is tired they must go to sleep blah 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 
Uh, ask her about Shizuka again. Uh, please, uh, peace off. In the, I don't know what my wife said, but I will make sure that Asami regains her consciousness. So yeah, she's tired, whatever. I don't have a daughter called Shizuka. What's the point of me coming here? Maybe I'm supposed to come here later at this hour or something. But yeah, I don't think this is men uh, mentioned in my guide that they're here at this hour. So I don't know whether it means that I don't have to go there, but who oh, no, the fuck knows. Let's go to the bathroom. There we can take a dump. Even though it's, it's not a toilet, it's, you know, a shower room and a bathtub. Blah, 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 blah. What time is it now? The alarm, uh, I guess, one more. Yeah, and now she's here. Was it the alarm? I heard some beep, but maybe it's not from the game. Yeah, bad timing. Okay, okay. Um, now the alarm is ringing. Telephone is ringing. I got you on the line. So, can I go here? Maybe one more save. 50. Oh, accidentally balconized myself. Balconization. Is there like an um, engraving somewhere like Shizuka was here with her sister Asami. Okay, let's keep banging head against the wall. Mm -hmm. Finally. So, uh, it's uh, Tamayo's room, and uh, she is looking at me with languid eyes and her hips stiffening. Mm -hmm. What does it say? I can't help but watch. Come on, stupid mouse work. <laughs> and a million different options. Shizuka. I feel sorry for Shizuka-san. How do you know about Shizuka? I'm sure you don't know. I know everything there is to know about things that I don't know about. I'm also a bit of a detective, so I can investigate that much. Okay, you can tell me about Shizuka-san. Finally. 
you're also a good, a great guy. Okay, I'll talk to you finally. Everybody. Uh, like, even if you ask everybody about Shizuka, nobody... Like, everybody pretends like they don't know her. And I was troubled. It was a pain in my asshole. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, it is what it is, so... Uh, because your... Uh, the mother... So the uh, Kiku, I guess, she imposed a gag o order before he arrived. Shizuka is a Asami's younger sister, but she died. She committed suicide. Why? The cause was, well, I don't know the cause. Uh, let's do it. Uh, my mother will scold me and I don't want to talk about that guy. Yoshimasho. No, does she mean do <clears throat> naughty stuff? Other than that, I'll talk about what I said. Uh, what she found interesting. Okay, yeah, she promised to tell us something. Okay, talk about her. Will it? Uh, so, you came after all. It's because you want to see me. It's not like that, but I wanted to hear some interesting stories. Uh -huh. Right off the bat, you could could you tell me the story? You are so you are such an impatient person. It's a long night. Let's talk about adult things slowly. Uh, don't hurry me, okay? This is Murakami's uh, Murakawa's business. I asked her about Shizuka. Okay, how about Asami? Um, rather than talking about kids, let's talk about adults. Okay, Murakawa. That evening um, or night, I walked out of the room and down the hallway, he, she heard noise on the west hallway and lo and behold somebody entered Asami's room. I thought it might be the mother at a time like this, so she went to have a look. And Murakawa came out of the room. So, uh, and she went rushed into her room so quickly that he wouldn't see her or something. That's all there is to it, but if you think about it, it's strange. After all, um, Asami's mother is the only one who has the key to her room and she doesn't lend the key. No, no, I think it's, yeah, his mother is not Asami's mother, it's her mother, so Kiku who has the key and doesn't even give it to Maya, the mother of Asami. Like, really, does it make sense? She's been there many days. Has anybody been to the room except maybe Murakawa? Like, you know, if they're pretending that she's alive or something, at least sh somebody should be taking care of her and feeding her or something you know, taking care of her shit and stuff, or I don't know if you shit when you're in coma or not, not sure actually. Um, so I'm going to ask about Murakawa about the situation, so I won't lose it. Uh, so, 
uh, please don't go or something. Yeah, so I left her room. Oh, okay, now he is finally here. So I, I woke the sleepy Murakawa Hideso and went inside. Listen. Sorry. Excuse me. It's so late at night. Actually, I asked you something I can't have. It's the middle of the night. The middle of the night. Okay, talk to him about Asami. So I heard you went into Asami's room later last night. I don't know. It's not me. I didn't do anything. I'm asking about Tamayo. Tamayo. Uh, I heard an interesting story from her. Uh, so what's what's wrong with the what's what's up with the story? Uh -huh. Okay, now we can blackmail him with the underwear. Um, what happened to those items in your desk drawer? Uh, don't rummage around in other people's rooms, no matter what happens. It's my freedom, or it's only his business, basically. Others don't have the right. I guess that would be the better translation. Uh, that must have been st stolen. What makes you say that? Um, Tamayo told me that ever since you came to Shiratori household, uh, she often runs out of underwear. Can I think about this guy? Okay, this otaku has to know something. Listen to him. I uh, ask already. Ah, I can show the underpants. Okay. So, would you like to take a look at this? I put my underwear right in front of Murak. I, I mean, I showed it. I shoved it in front of him. Uh, this belonged to Tamayo. Is the key or lock? Key. Ah, oh, yeah, because how did he get into Asami's room? That is the question, Abu. You must have the key, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to put Asami san's underwear, or you wouldn't be able to get your hands on Asami or Tamayo's underwear. Yes, I have the key. They give me the fucking key. <laughs> uh, he said he didn't take Kiko's underpants. <laughs> I wonder why. So, so I I didn't go to uh, Asami's room. Don't try to bullshit me. Tamayo definitely saw it. Ah, fuck. I missed the line because my mouse was acting like a fucking asshole again. 
Uh, okay, so promise, this is the key. I took the key from Murakawa and then it headed to Shizuka's room. Okay, well, what matters is I got the key. Save. This is Shizuka's room. Look, room, Asami, uh, compared to Asami's room, this room feels brighter. Oh yeah, because there's two rooms in the same hallway. Okay, so I guess he probably said uh, the Murakama Kawa probably said that he didn't go to Asami's room, he went to Shizuka's room, probably that's what he said. Mm, look at the desk. Oh, what's this? Such effects. There's a photo stand uh, on the desk and a diary on the bookshelf. Uh, so there, he saw the photos displayed there. Oh, Asami. And then uh, another girl who looks just like Asami. This girl. I opened the diary. And this is what it was written in it. After all, um, I've no match for my sister. Like they're twins, twin girls or something. Uh, like they look very similar but are completely different in size. She's a good girl and I'm a bad girl. Saying Shizuka and Asami are twin sisters, what? Oh, naughty Shizuka, wow. So I took the photo from the frame, I guess. Yeah. Okay, this picture proves um, Shizuka's existence and that they were twin sisters. Huh, have you, haven't you heard of Photoshop and um, deep fakes and all that stuff? So, uh, did you looked at the clock, it's five in the morning at this time. Kiku should be in the tea room, I went to the tea room. Ah, oh, that's very... I don't know, like a far sighty, since they, um, uh, you know, since the beginning, they have been telling us that Kiko is uh, in the, the, you know, having tea at five o'clock. So now we know where she is going to be at this time. So I went to the tea room, talk about yourself uh, this early in the morning uh, you have to be old to wake up this early in the morning I I didn't wake up so early because I wanted to earn three pennies I am a I guess it's like, you know, be, he didn't wake up so early to own, like, I don't know, peanuts or nickels. Maybe that's what he means. So what was up? Um, are you going to enter Asami's mind? You have been waiting for quite some time. Yes, that's what I came here for. At this time of day, it's best time to sneak into their mind. But before that, 
uh, there's something I want to say or hear, I guess. Your as good as your reputation as a evil hag team. Okay. Uh, Shizuka. I showed uh, a Kiku a photo of Asami and Shizuka. Hmm, I did a lot of research on that. Shizuka was indeed uh, Asami's twin sister. However, that girl is no longer here. Okay, uh, then Asami. Asami is. Uh, you try to use Asami as a tool for rebuilding their Shiratori family. I'll talk about marriage to Yasui for the sake of, sake of the family. That is true. She admits, I guess. Talk about her. Um, at first, uh, I thought you were the kind of person who cared about your grandchildren, but that is not true. I'm going to get a glass of water because it's hot. All right, um, I'm back. Let's think about the old woman. There are some specification. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, okay, I guess I have to figure out some details before I can think. Okay, let's ask about Asami. Yeah, there's text. So Asami um, is, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 this is the same stuff that she just wanted to use her to rebuild the family. Uh, you're a terrible person, isn't your uh, grandchild cute? You're very naive. That naivety is what ruined you as an analyst. I had nothing to do with that accident. It was caused by my mistake. Huh? Ah, uh, no. I am. Um, no, no, it's not I had. It's like his accident, because yeah, in the beginning, you know, they said that there was some accident. Uh, so maybe he accidentally drove over Asami or Shizuka or something. Maybe that's why he was invited here. But anyway, he's saying that the uh, accident had nothing to do with this Asami business. Uh, it was his fault. Shizuka. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Um, so I am the Shiratori's uh, master or owner of master, I think. Um, I really use my grandchildren for the sake of the family. Shiratori uh, family is her life. So I guess you know the whole thing by now. Uh, heal, please heal Asami. I was forcibly taken to Asami's room. So is this old woman gonna drag him?
um, Kiku led him to Asami's room and Asami's uh, figure stood out in the pale light of the moon. Uh, you must enter her mind uh, because he uh, she holds his past in her hands. But yeah, what was this about his accident and stuff? Uh, so he dived into Asami's mind with overwhelming feeling. So okay, what what is this soul dive thingy? Whoa. Um, Asami, her mental world continues to uh, every direction or something. Whoa, look at her mind. 16 year old girls. Uh, like, I guess it doesn't seem like a, it's so eerie. It's hard to believe it's a 16 year old girl's mind. Uh, the sea. So here, the the horizon stretches forever. S the sky, blue, blue sun is shining. The strange coexistence of the day, uh, like you know, both day and night exist there at the same time or something. Listen to the sea. What is this? Um, it's faint, but he can hear the sound of the ocean, like a beating of heart. Ah, maybe the ocean represents her heart or something, so she's still, still ticking. Think about her mind. Uh, it's just the surface layer of it. Uh, it's a place where Various phenomena we experience on a daily basis are deformed and constructed into the influence of the ego. And that, that was directly the, what my dictionary said, and I'm not going to try to translate that sort of uh, jargon gobbledygook any better, because I probably couldn't. Okay, think about the C. Uh, in conventional analysis, the C is seen as a symbol of the unconscious. The deeper you get, the closer you get to unconsciousness. I guess that makes sense. The, so, uh, the sky, the sky is the symbol of assholes. Okay, what is it? Say? What is? The colors are reminiscent of I uh, like before a storm. I have a ba bad feeling about this. Bad, bad, bad to the bone. Go to the sea. Her mind, uh, blue, blue, blue. Uh, he need to assimilate her mind more with his own consciousness. Okay. Yeah, let's. I don't know. Listen. The sound of the the. C can be heard like a beating of heart, heartbeat. The heart beating of a heartbeat, beat, beat, beat. 16 year old girl's mind level. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on? So the C, the edge of the C is bent as if being towed into the sky. I guess like the sky and the sea are mer melting together, man. And far, you can see something far away uh, in the di distance. Looks like a forest. A oh, forest. Even if you look, 
Uh, I, I can't help but watch or look to see Maximus. Uh, the sun is the product of consciousness. The fact that it does not shine shows that Asami's consciousness is sleeping in a deep unconscious state. It's the forest. Okay, can I go to the forest? I uh, should investigate the sea. So try to get into her, deeper into her heart of oh, mind. Okay, can I think about these things? Okay, now I can think. <sighs> there is nothing here to suggest the cause of her unconsciousness. If there is, is in the deeper parts of the ocean. Okay, the ocean. But uh, there is too little life in the sea. All that remains are dried up remnants of everyday memories. Sky. Is, uh, oh yeah, it's just the same stuff that it's like be time before the storm, like colors and stuff. Okay, can I go to the... Oh, what's going on? I can go to the sea. I approach the sea surface. Fragments of everyday memories float in the stagnant sea. Okay, how about the forest? Uh, there's like shards of memories. There are some fragments or possibility that there are some fragments of memory. Oh, okay, take fragments of memory. <laughs> Whoa, man, so psychedelic and stuff. Try to pick up the fragments of memory floating on the surface of the sea. Fragments of memory allow us to know the extremely superficial thoughts of the person and assimilate them into the infiltrator's consciousness to camouflage them. I can do it. Okay, so I guess we are infiltrating and assimilating and all of that stuff. Uh, think about the memory fragment. This fragment, uh, maybe some clues in it. Okay, can I look? At, yeah, I can look at the fragment. There is... Fragment appears to be from before Asami lost her consciousness. Ugh. There's hardly ch er, any change in her appearance. Fragments touched my consciousness, took shape and became images. It seems to be something related to, to Kiku. Uh, Kiku is scolding Asami. Kiku is acting like a demon hag. You, why... Why so useless, why you can't do it? Uh, and the memory stopped midway through and is quite deformed. So I guess she's just scolding her. Oh. And then this time, uh, it's, to, it's her mother Maya. You should learn to endure. That is the, the fate of Shiratori or Swan. Like often the dictionary says that Shiratori is Swan, but it's literally it's white bird. I don't know if it's actually Swan or not. But anyway, it's a name, so it's not. It shouldn't be translated, anyways. Uh, 
Shizua is scolding Asami, you are a child without specifications. <laughs> what is this? This, these two kanji, this dictionary doesn't seem to be able to translate it properly because it doesn't make any sense. You. Anyway, she's calling, she's an unspecific child. <laughs> Suddenly, something mysterious interrupted his consciousness. A shadow? The shadow disappeared as if being drawn into the sea. Fragments of memory fell from the depths of consciousness and returned to the sea. Okay. So, in the center of the... Uh, to see there's a uh, it exists there or something the forest oh, shadow so the shadows form or, or what what the hell was it Can I go to the forest now? I can. <gasps> this is just like dreams in the witch house and the unvisited isle. I stepped into the forest, a tombstone stood or tombstone stood in the quiet lake, a dozen small stones are lined up surrounding the large tombstone. Ah okay, so only one tombstone, okay. The others are maybe I will save even though it Probably aren't, you know, I don't know if you can fuck it up or anything, but you never know. The small, look at the small grave. There's graves. Um, so yeah, the ring surrounds the central tombstone and the big one. It stands tall as if sinking into the lake is a symbol of Asami's ego. Okay. Think small stone. Hmm, how curious. How strange. No matter where I look, I can't find Shizuka's name. Isn't Shizuka really alive? Uh, we need to in investigate the two of them in detail, the true nature of the shadow. Uh, uh, yeah, I have to find out the true nature of the shadow. The big stone. Uh, I think it's just, just the same comment, yeah. Look at Asami's mind. First uh, infiltration, you are not allowed to stay for a long time because your mind notices the presence of abnormal molecules and activates a defense mechanism. The potential energy of the mind is immeasurable, swallowed in the deep darkness of unconsciousness. Uh, so I guess you could get swallowed into the unconsciousness if you stay too long. If you repeat several short infiltrations, you can deceive the mind. Uh, you are be able to understand mental habits and to, to deceive them. Okay. the small stone uh, names of the Shiratori family 
are engraved on the small stones. Also, also Asami is uh, dead there. So yeah, maybe it is like we are not inside Asami's mind, but Shizuka's mind. Because why would she have her own own name along with her other family members there? Big stone, stone. Uh, the name says Asami Shiratori Asami Asami is a uh, dead within her own mind or her ego is hiding somewhere. Well, now it suggests that it would be Asami, so I don't know, but uh, I still think this is actually Shizuka. Same stuff. Think about her mind. Ah, it's already time. I have to go back after this, and then he left Asami's mind. Uh, <clears throat> I came back from Asami's mind. Is still. Before dawn, almost no time has passed. Infiltrating people's minds causes extreme fatigue. I even forget my um, energy sometimes, or lose it. Um, a gust of the fatigue clinging to the folds of his heart and uh, dove into the ocean, no, into the bed. Next morning, he prayed that he wouldn't find himself transformed into a poisonous inst insect. Is it some Kafka? Um, alluding to Kafka. So, I woke up in the morning. I think I can um, end the stream here. I don't think it's gonna end anytime soon. Like, I. We're probably nearing the end, but I don't think it's gonna be, you know, let's say it's gonna take more than 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure, to finish this game. So, yes, save and see ya. Bye bye.